I was born and raised in North Carolina. My husband and I are from the same city. It was a hectic life, but all during that time, I just thought there was something uh, more <laughs> better and more relaxing, another way of life that I would prefer. We'd been to Ireland many times and loved it here. I retired from my job in 2005. That's when we decided to move here permanently. We had already bought this place as a holiday home. And so we just burned our bridges and, and came. When I moved here, I was a crocheter and a knitter using specialty yarns. So I thought, well, there's plenty of sheep, plenty of wool in Ireland, but I couldn't find the materials that I needed for my work. So I decided I would make my own yarn. I ended up purchasing three sheep, named them Rose, Hyacinth, and Daisy. And I taught myself how to use their fleeces, produce the yarns with it. First of all, of course, you have to wash the fleece and get it in the right condition to use. I learned how to dye it with plants. I do a lot of natural dyeing. I'm experimenting with these ivy berries that grow right out here, using these to dye with. It looks like I'm going to get a, maybe a reddish brown. It's really light brown right now, but it will eventually absorb the color and um, be a darker color when it's finished. I learned how to spin. I taught myself to spin. I bought a spinning wheel at a craft fair. And once I accomplished that, then I could make what I needed. So I start with the sheep, with what they produce for me in the way of their fiber, and I take it through the whole process of washing, carding, dyeing, spinning, and knit, weave, or crochet. So it's all from the sheep to the end product. It's just fantastic. It's magical to me that I can take what my sheep give me and I can make something that's useful for me or I can, you know, sell it. I also teach other people. I really want to teach other people how to do these crafts and carry on these crafts because they're important. And if they're not taught to the younger people, they will be lost.